Hi, I don't know if you have had this experience yet or if it's about to come your way, but I remember when I was about 16 years old, I got these. I got my very own set of car keys because I was gonna get my license. And it was one of the most exciting rites of passage of just about any that we had back in the day. Now I lived out in the country and so getting a set of car keys was like total freedom. So I don't know if you've had that experience yet, but there's nothing quite like holding a set of keys in your hand and knowing that you are like totally responsible for your own freedom and getting yourself places and coming home from places. And it's just, it's amazing. Well, it was only when I had children of my own that I realized what it must have been like for my parents the very first time they handed over the keys. As you watch your child drive away and you are left standing or sitting or on your knees praying for their safe return, it's it is a rite of passage. It's the legacy. It's passing the torch of your independence from your parents who have had to cart you all over the place to you having your own independence and being responsible for getting yourself to and from places safely. Well, in Deuteronomy this week, we find that Moses is pretty much at the end of his journey with the Israelites and he needs to pass the torch. He needs to hand over leadership of the Israelites to Joshua. Now, Joshua has been kind of training for this, kind of like if you take driver's ed, and he's ready to assume leadership over the Israelites. But it's not gonna be easy. I mean, these folks have been wandering around in the desert for a number of years now, and they're getting a little bit anxious to reach their destination. And so I'm sure it wasn't easy for Joshua to take over from Moses. Just like it might not be easy for you to take over the keys from your parents when it's your turn to drive the car. But like Joshua, we have an opportunity to train for our roles of responsibility. And for those moments that we might be called upon to take leadership roles. And know that in leadership, just like driving the car, you have to realize what this responsibility means and that somebody might be holding you accountable for bringing the car home with some gas in it or bringing the car home in the same condition that you took it in. And so as we look forward to the rest of this week, the rest of this month and the balance of the year 2020, what kinds of leadership might you be getting ready for? What kind of new responsibilities or what new direction might your life be taking that God's preparing you for? Remember that Joshua took over for, you know, a lot of people. And you might just be giving the responsibility of the car. But our level of responsibility is really irrelevant. It's what we do with that responsibility that's super important. Have a great week, friends.